obviously only try this if you're used to doing goofy electrical stuff like this or get a mechanic because I don't want somebody to hurt themselves because it's something I suggested. So, all right, so I have a 2015 Chevy Sonic. The window is stuck open, but what I need to do now is raise up this window and I've already pulled the door panel off and so forth. And let me just show you inside of here how I'm gonna do this. Inside this switch right here, there's two pins. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't get this phone inside of the panel, but two pins right inside of there. I didn't care which one I put it on, but I just put one alligator clip on one pin, one alligator clip on the other pin. This is a two pin model. You may have a four pin. When you pull this off of here, there's two pins inside of here that this connects to. What I'm gonna do is use the DC power out of this flash fish right here to force power into here to roll the window up. And the way I'm gonna do that is I've, I've connected these alligator clips. I've got them down here and I've connected them to two pieces of wire that I just cut, one to each of the alligator clips. I don't know which one's which, but we'll find out. Got this cable right here that came with this, plugged into the DC output. Inside this cable is, is the tip and the outside is gonna be the ground. I'm gonna power this up and I'm gonna stick this in the middle here. And obviously don't do this unless you feel comfortable doing it. That's gonna send power over to the motor and either roll the window up or roll it down. So let me back off a little bit so you can see the window. All right, here we go. Let's try it. Hooked up, power on, turn the DC power on and see what happens. All right, you can see that's rolling it down. All right, now what I'm gonna do is shut this off and I'm going to switch these two. Obviously only try this if you're used to doing goofy electrical stuff like this or get a mechanic, because I don't want somebody to hurt themselves because it's something I suggested. So let me hook this up to the ground. I'm gonna hook this one back up to power it on, DC output, and this should roll it up because I've switched them. There we go. There it is, rolled up. I realized after I shot the video of me doing this that uh, it was hard to see what my hands were doing because I wanted to get the window in the video and also what I was doing, but it didn't quite work out. So I'll do a little explanation for you right here. This is gonna be the switch and this is the door panel side of the car. I just wanna show you. Basically what I'm gonna do is use the 12 volt DC power that is coming out of this little flash fish battery backup unit that I got. Right here, it has a 12 volt DC output. A car battery is 12 volt DC, so it's the same thing. This is the cable that I have for the DC output. So I'm gonna plug it into here, one side into the DC output. Just so you know, like on a normal cable, if I were to cut this cable right here, there would be two wires more than likely. One wire attaches to the outside of the cable, which is the ground. The ground is on the outside and the inside is your tip or power basically. So now you know that I'm gonna use a set of alligator clips too just a normal pair of alligator clips. And what I've done on the inside of the car is, this is one pin and this is one pin, they're both flat pins. So I'm gonna connect one to one side and one to the other side inside the car. It doesn't matter which way is which, but I'm thinking that one's ground. So connect those up first. And I have just two pieces of wire, normal wire uh, used for guitar wiring actually. So let's assume I've already connected them at the car up here. I'm gonna clip the red one onto the power and I'm going to connect this blue one that I have onto the ground black or red, whatever. Like I said before, the outside of this cable right here is the ground. So I'm gonna connect that here, make sure it's on there good. I just make it like make a little loop here just so I get a good connection on it. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so now my ground's connected. So basically the way I'm doing this, you'll see in the video is I turn the power on to the flash fish. I turn the DC power on, DC output. Now I'm sending 12 volts through here. My ground is already hooked up, so I don't wanna to touch the wire. I'm gonna hold on to the shielding right here and I'm going to stick that in the middle right there. It's gonna send power through the wire into the switch and either raise or lower the window. Let's say I stick it in here and it lowers the window, but I wanna raise it. What I'm gonna do is undo this and I'm gonna switch these two. So I'll put this one on the black and this one on the red, basically reversing everything. So now I stick it in here and I don't wanna to touch that wire. I stick it in here and it will raise the window. And when I'm done, shut everything off.